The Sims is giving out another pack for free. There's a pretty big sale across almost all of the Sims packs right now, but Backyard Stuff is on sale for 100% off. You can buy Backyard Stuff for $0 until April 13th. Anytime something like this happens, I always try and talk about it in videos a bunch. So that way, hopefully as many people as possible will see it and hopefully get a chance to grab the pack while it's free. So if you haven't already, run and go and grab this pack. It's free on your computer and on console, so everybody can get it. And when I say it's free until April 13th, they're not going to take it away from you. The sale just lasts until then. So you can buy it for zero dollars right now and then have it forever as long as you get it now. If you're not home, put a reminder in your phone or something. Just don't forget to grab this. And honestly, even if you only play on console, I would make an EA account on a computer somehow and then grab it there too because it's free. You might end up playing Sims on a computer someday, so you may as well grab it now while you can and then just save it for later. And what's really funny about this is I just made a video doing a build with only backyard stuff like a month ago and now all of a sudden it's free so I'd like to think that we manifested this. I have a really special place in my heart for backyard stuff because it was the first pack that I ever got given a code for. It first released in July of 2016. I was in high school. I was only 16 and back then they had like an email mailing list for codes and stuff. They didn't have the whole EA creator network built out and I remember I got a DM on Twitter from the community manager asking me for my email address and then the next day I had a code for for free in my email and it was like the best day of my life. I mean, you can imagine how cool that is to like get reached out to by EA when you're a child who's this massive huge fan of The Sims. So even though I don't think Backyard Stuff is like the best stuff pack, I, I do have some love for it because of that. So the plan today is to try and do a build using only Backyard Stuff in the base game. And I know that I just did this kind of recently, but I feel like now it's more valuable because more people have access to the pack. Keep in mind for a lot of folks watching this video, this might be the first Sims pack they've ever gotten. So I'd like to make something that they can use. And also I kind of thought my previous build was ugly. So I want to redeem myself here. Here's our inspo pick. I love the picket fence in the front yard and I'm obsessed with the big front porch. So I'm going to try and channel that energy. And it's only a 30 by 20 lot. So hopefully it doesn't end up being too ridiculously big by accident. I'm thinking it should be kind of long and skinny. And I realize this is like a little bit of a weird shape, but hear me out. Once I get the roof on, it's going to make way more sense. I was picturing something kind kind of like this for the roof. It might even be able to be a little bit bigger if I really wanted it to be. So imagine something kind of like this for the main shell of the building, but then I'm gonna wanna add in a bunch of extra bits to it. It's not that, oh my God. <laughs> I was gonna say it's not that big, but this is a really weird shape, isn't it? I didn't really mean for it to be like this. To me, that kind of looks like what a garage would look like if we had one. Obviously, we don't have a garage, but we can add on a chimney so it makes a little bit more sense. And then maybe I could get like a small bit somehow like this. I might move that around based on how the floor plan looks, but I just want to have like something on the other side. And I don't think that's actually all that bad on the interior. I feel like that makes sense. Oh no, we're gonna want to redo this. <laughs> we'll figure that part out, don't worry. I'll make the roofs not clip. I swear I'll fix it. I might try and fix this from clipping too. It's kind of annoying the roof pieces doing this, but you just got to do a couple pieces and then drag them around. Okay, I actually think that that might be perfect for the exterior. That came together really easily. I'm gonna scoot the whole thing forward just a bit in the front yard. And the other main priority is that I really want to have a fence. <laughs> I want to have a picket fence in the front so bad. I think we can kind of wrap the fence all the way around the yard if we really wanted to. I don't think that's too weird. We'll go through and pick out some prettier roof trim. And then on the interior, let me just fix the roof so it's not clipping anymore. And then we can think floor plan for a second. The way that you do this is just by wrapping the roof completely around the walls. So you can see I just dragged the roof so it would fit completely up against the wall here and not be clipping in at all because that's where you get the weird bits floating inside of the ceiling. It takes a little bit of time because you have to go through and do every individual piece but it's worth it to not have it clipped. So if you ever encounter that like say for example you want to have a fence in there around a stair landing and this is happening you have to drag all of the roof pieces back and then line them up against the wall and then pick a roof roof trim that isn't gonna clip like this, which is very annoying, but doable if you need to. Can't intersect with walls. Oh God. <laughs> the staircase location is gonna cause me some problems, I fear. Okay, I think I'm gonna make this part into a bathroom, maybe. And then perhaps downstairs, I'm sorry, I know it's a very weird shape. <laughs> 
<laughs> but maybe downstairs we could have a primary bedroom and like an office space. So imagine that becomes the bedroom. It's huge. You've got plenty of room in there. Then they have a really nice bathroom attached to their bedroom. In here we have a plain nice office space that you can use. And then maybe in this living room we've got like a nice big central rug area. We could potentially have the kitchen cabinets sort of wrap around this wall. I might need to scoop this over. I guess the dining table could go like right there. That's a decent layout and I like that it's just one big open room. The front door would obviously be right here and then we'd have a nice downstairs bathroom kind of tucked away in that area. And I guess that leaves us upstairs with a couple of extra bedrooms. I hate to have a huge hallway because it feels like kind of a waste of space, but maybe I could do it like this because that's three bedrooms up there. They're all small, but if they're kids bedrooms, they can be small. That's fine. So in total, it's a four bedroom, two bathroom house. Plus it has an office, so it could be five bedrooms. That seems good to me. I think that's like a really decent sized floor plan. Now we gotta go back and do windows because I kind of neglected to do that part. <laughs> I ignored that, but we need to go back and add them in. Oh, I should also warn you now that this is not a budget build. I have not been thinking about money with this. I've been a little bit more preoccupied with making it look nice <laughs> and not so much about how much it costs. I may actually scoot this over just a bit because I would rather have the window be centered. Oh, maybe I should make it centered with the wall. You see, I was gonna have it not be centered on purpose, but it's probably better if it is. It's just weird and long and skinny, which I wasn't really intending to have, but I guess I could make it bigger. That's probably better because we only have the one bathroom downstairs, so it's probably good if it's a nice big bathroom. I'm putting these kind of big windows like everywhere and I don't know if what I'm doing is too much, but I like how they look, so I want to have a bunch of them. I hate how the side of this house looks, but I guess we can just cover it with plants. And unfortunately, the base game doors are kind of lacking, so I'm just gonna use what I know, which is this door. <laughs> not too much else works as well as this one, at least not in the base game. I don't know if I want to have this many windows in the kitchen. I might need to rethink this part. It kind of depends where the cabinetry ends up going, but I'm thinking it might need to just be one, which is kind of sad. Oh. Oh no, there's no windows inside of this room. <laughs> I made this horrible tiny room and there's no windows in it. <laughs> Uh-oh, maybe that should have been a bathroom then instead of an extra bedroom. We could potentially have this be a bedroom and then have this room upstairs be an extra bathroom. And that might be a better use of the space because this one has windows. <laughs> I don't love that layout though. I'd like rather have a bathroom downstairs. If I put this thing, what does that look like from the outside? Terrible. I knew I was messing something up. You were probably yelling at the screen too. <laughs> you're probably like, Kayla, this is horrible. What do you think you're doing? You know what? I'm leaning towards let's not do it. We can make this kind of a really weird shaped room, which might be fun, I don't know, for the kids space. And we have a smaller bathroom. Let's make that into a bedroom instead. <laughs> Okay, it's still four bedrooms and two bathrooms. One of the bathrooms is just a little bit smaller now. And it's also upstairs, which is not ideal, but they'll get over it. I'm sorry for using my favorite roof texture again. I just like it too much. It's the best one. I'm gonna go through and do all of the landscaping next. I know I haven't painted the house yet. I just don't know what I want it to look like. So I'm gonna go through and do all of the landscaping first and then come back to that. Oh, you know what? I love how that tile looks for our bathrooms. I think I'll use that. Oh, and maybe it would be better to do a switcheroo and have the office over here and this one be the bedroom just so the bedrooms are like all together on one side. We could probably put an archway into this then. That would be nice. Okay, sorry, back to landscaping. I got distracted again. So what we know so far is that we have to use this thing. It's like an absolute necessity to have the shark slide. <laughs> <laughs> we cannot do a build like this and not have the shark slide. So I'm going to kind of design the entire backyard around the shark slide. Thankfully, it fits pretty nicely. One of the issues that I had with the other build that I did was that I was really dedicated to trying to use all of the things from the pack. So I was trying to use this bush and I can't, I can't. I'm sorry, everybody. I cannot bring myself to do this. I hate this thing. I will not force myself to use that today. I just can't bring myself to do it. I will use every other bush except that one. I just don't like it and I can't help it. It's not my fault. We can't control what we like and sometimes it's just not gonna work. Ooh, it comes in pink. <laughs> I kind of like the blue shark though. One of my primary methods for landscaping and like making stuff that I don't hate is to focus on color. So I'll try and have the colors of the flowers all match each other. So like in this case, I'll use a couple different types of flowers, but I'll have all of them be purple. I think I just prefer the vibes of that where it's like kind of chaotic still, but just in a slightly more organized way. Obviously I'm no expert. That's just kind of what I do and, and what looks best to me, but you might have a totally different preference. Hmm. I don't know if I like it. <laughs> I don't think it looks 
Good. I can't tell. Let me put a foundation. Maybe once I have some color on the house, it'll help it look better. How does one landscape a weird little nook like this? I guess just with some bushes. Trees are gonna help us too. Once we have some trees in, it'll start looking better. Trees in? <laughs> once we have some trees in, it'll start looking better. That's not what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds way worse than I intended. Trees in, okay? <laughs> Tree is being placed in the lot. Okay, I might also put some planter boxes in the front yard because that way the front yard's not completely useless. And then I'll come back and finish all of the landscaping and terrain paint last. You can't trust the game, so you have to wait until the end to do that. Otherwise it might delete itself. Okay, I started with a bit of very simple decor in each of the bathrooms just to get them over with. And now my goal is to focus on this main living space. I'd like to use this rug as the main decider of the whole color scheme. I think I used that swatch last time. Huge mistake. Don't do it again. <laughs> we don't need to do that. We do have the purple, so we could kind of go for like a purple vibe in the house. The only problem with that is that I don't really think the base game actually has all that many options that kind of match. <laughs> Most often I'll use this green and blue color of this rug because just the most stuff matches it You can even kind of see here with this tile like that vibe kind of works together But I know I do that color scheme a fair bit So I'm trying to balance if that's a good idea or not. I also hate these counters I had this problem with the last house too where I just didn't know what kind of counters I wanted to use I might just commit to these at this point I feel like one of the greatest things that they could do for us in the base game is give us another kitchen set I would do anything for another kitchen kitchen set in the base game. What a difference that would make for us just to have like one more kitchen set. I know it's not a small ask, but please, please. Or maybe like some recolors of the existing one. Just something. We need something for the kitchens. Okay, so now I'm kind of going through the stuff that comes in this pack and picking out items that I know we're going to want to use. First things first, there's some really funky rugs. So I put a couple of those in the bedrooms. This door keeps disappearing itself. Oh my gosh, look at how cute this is. The little butterfly. Oh my god, and this like spinny flower. Stop. <laughs> I'm gonna put a couple of those in the front yard. I'm gonna get this wall speaker on the patio too, because then you can have music outside. Oh my gosh, bird feeder. Yes, perfect. Obviously we need to have a table somehow. Does this even come in like our purple color? Ooh, I don't know about that dark brown. <laughs> We'll see about that. I'm gonna need to think on that one, I feel like, but it's fine. I do love this little thing. I told myself when we did the last build that I was gonna start using this because I saw it and I was like, wow, I forgot about that. And then I didn't, so. I'll put that now. Everything has too many patterns. It's too much. Well, I like to do this sometimes where I'll kind of like make a custom table. Basically, I'll take some cabinets and then I'll put them on the wall and sneak in some legs underneath it from like one of these tables or something. And then it looks like we've got a custom wide console table. I do that because I like to use this giant TV, which I don't know if I should do because all of a sudden the house is like significantly more expensive. Maybe I'll use that one. There are tables that we could use as coffee tables from this pack, but I I don't really like them. So that's kind of the issue right now is that the patterns are a bit too much. Oh, I'm gonna put a ceiling fan in here. This is my Florida expertise coming through, but you're gonna want that. <laughs> They'll want to have a ceiling fan. Oh my God, this, I forgot about this. Look at the pretty leaves. That's cute. Does that fit anywhere? Oh, let's hang that up above the bed. Let's put the bed in this little corner in this bedroom and we can hang up those leaf things above it like a canopy. That's from the holiday pack, so it's not base game, but it's that's basically face game. That pack is also free. Well, now I'm excited, so I have to do this room first. Can we have like a leaf theme? That's a weird thing to say, isn't it? I've done leaf themed stuff in this game before, but usually with that really chaotic leaf wallpaper. And I'm trying to do a more toned down version of a leaf room right now. Like instead of this, <laughs> I'm trying to do like this, you know? <gasps> Leaves. I didn't know that had that swatch. Leaves. <laughs> I forgot about this thing too. Okay, so I'm kind of picturing this bedroom belonging to a teenager. So I gave them a desk and a computer. Honestly, that little element thing might be kind of a fun touch. They can be kind of into science-y stuff. Do I give them a bonsai tree or is that too much? <laughs> I think it looks kind of cool on this wall though, because the whole thing's like all built in. There's not really a lot of things in the backyard stuff that make sense for like a kid's or teen's bedroom because there's a lot of outdoor items, but we can do like a candle maybe. It's mostly stuff like these lights that we can try and fit in, but that could probably be that teen's bedroom done. I know I'm completely ignoring the downstairs right now and I really should go back and work on it, but I'm kind of having fun with this. I think I'm leaning towards decorating this one more for a child and then we'll do this downstairs bedroom for like an infant or a toddler because it's closer to the parents' room and also closer to the bathtub. <laughs> so it's a little bit easier to bathe them down there. Oh, I didn't realize it came in like a rainbow color. That's nice. I'm kind of going for a sports and frog theme 
in this room, whatever that means. <laughs> I'm putting a clock right here in the hallway, but that's kind of in place of a thermostat. So if you have seasons, I'd put a thermostat there. And I'm making this little built-in shelf as a spot for you to put your collectibles because I've noticed that I really like doing that in my builds that I'm actually playing in. I like to have a spot to just dump all my collectibles and then put them on display. So I'll leave that nice little built-in area for you upstairs too. And then I think that's the full upstairs done. I'm working on this little office downstairs and I was trying to see if I could use these chairs somehow because I like the idea of mixing and matching and having like some fun patterns on the chairs. I just feel like all the colors look bad. <laughs> all of the options that I try to use just don't work. I don't really love the furniture from the backyard stuff pack. I want to like it, I really do, but every time I try and use it, it just doesn't, there's something about it that doesn't work right. The colors could be better. Let's just say that. <laughs> they could be improved. All right, I've stalled long enough. I finished the little office space. We have to start thinking about the rest of the living room. I can't cannot keep doing this without finishing the living room. I've really been going to great lengths to do everything in the house but this space. <laughs> I'm overthinking it. I'm an overthinker. We don't need to put that much in the kitchen, to be honest. I'd like to leave that corner counter open for cooking, but otherwise I might just put this much stuff in there. We do want to have a trash can. Maybe I'll stick it here by this thing, or maybe I'll scoot it over and like kind of hide it in the corner <laughs> so it's less in your way. I'll put a trash can outside too, so I don't forget. Now the big question is, can I use these chairs? <laughs> can I make that work? I am not sure. I really, really hate that pattern. I think that's kind of my main issue is that I just genuinely dislike this pattern. I like the colors, but it's the pattern. I don't like the circles and like plus signs thing. Maybe I'll close this off and give myself more of a formal entryway somehow. Oh, that's really cute. That kind of matches the vibes that we're going for as well. Okay, I'm feeling a bit better. <laughs> I was kind of nervous about this for a second. I know it's a backyard pack and the whole point is like backyard furniture, but there really isn't that much stuff to do interiors within this one. It's hard to recommend that you buy it. That's the problem. It's it's good if you're getting it for free, but to buy this pack, you just really don't get that much stuff in it. Oh, I need the lemons. Wait, do lemons instead of the plant. Or maybe, um... <laughs> Hold on, I have an idea. This is one of my favorite items in the entire game as well, so I have to use that. I kind of forgot it was there. I do like that tray. I think that's nice. I think what I'm struggling with right now is just that whole wall behind the TV feeling kind of empty. I'm actually almost wishing that I had some more built-ins or something, just some kind of thing to fill up that space. That is really tight for the back door. <laughs> I wanna put something there though, just something taller. Maybe one of the cabinets, like the china cabinets. Oh, I'm in my wall divider era as well right now. That might be an interesting concept. It kind of is a waste of space though. Oh, this one's okay. And it's green as well. So we could get a couple cabinets and then put the trash can somehow over there. I don't know, maybe there. Oh God, we have some serious blue suburban energy inside of this primary bedroom. I'm just trying to use other swatches of this rug and then I'm stuck with the base game bed. So I don't have a ton of options, but this is what I've come up with for the primary bedroom. I do like the layout of this room a lot. I just wish that I had some more colors, but the base game bed is frustrating me because of all the patterns on it. So I'm, I'm doing this. <laughs> this is what we're getting. Okay. I just had a kind of scary phone call. So I did the terrain paint kind of mindlessly while I talked to them. So the terrain paint is done. Last, we just have to finish this bedroom, do like all the exterior paint and then all the exterior furnishing. So we're almost finished with the whole build. I was originally thinking about making this bedroom into like an infant's room, mostly just because I like the idea of putting a crib in here. But realistically with just the base game, we don't have that many options for nursery furniture. So I might do toddler stuff instead. And the crib is the same size as the toddler bed. So if you really wanted to, you could swap the crib out, I guess. I'm kind of wondering about this like floral theme because <laughs> we have the flower rug, then we have the flower walls. It is very samey in here with all the pink colors. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. Like sometimes it's kind of fun to go all out and just commit to the pink. I put some little toys in front of the dollhouse so that the kid can play with them. And then I'm picturing maybe a bookshelf over here in the corner. It'd be nice to have a dresser somewhere too. We could always do kind of a tall, plain wardrobe kind of situation and stick the unicorn next to it. I just love these little pictures. I know I use them all the time, but they're so cute. And maybe I'll get one extra window because I can put some more curtains there just to have some more stuff on the wall. Oh, I don't know how much else to put in this room. Maybe I should space these out across the whole wall because we could do something like that. And then maybe I could put one of those little clutter items, kind of like this toy basket. I'm worried about putting too much else too close to the door because I want it to be an open walkway, but that's a decent kid's room. We do need a toddler potty 
if we're gonna do this. I don't know if this is like a controversial choice, but oftentimes when I'm playing with toddlers in The Sims, I kind of just put the toddler potty in their bedroom because there isn't a downstairs bathroom and I'm not gonna put it in this room because it's too small. So I kind of just like put it in the toddler room and keep them all in there. I think it stems from my 100 baby challenge experience where I'm just kind of used to like keeping them all in one room. When I play that challenge, I put all of the toddler things in one space and just kind of keep them in there, which sounds bad, but I don't mean it in a bad way. It's just, it's more useful. They've got a nice dedicated area so I just kind of stick to it <laughs> but now I do that in my regular builds too sometimes and I don't know if that's good okay I'm gonna hide the trash can kind of back here so it's easy access and then as far as other things go in the backyard I guess some more kids stuff would probably be helpful we can put a set of monkey bars and this slide so we have both I got some more planter boxes we have a grill we have a table I did hide a little telescope here to be honest my first thought was to just paint the house white I guess that's kind of boring but it's also pretty realistic to just have the house be white and that way the purple flowers kind of have a chance to shine because they really stand out against the background. I'm gonna put a chimney as well. Obviously I have a fake one, but I want to put like a real chimney piece in here. That's always a nice finishing touch just to make it look a little bit more realistic. The lighting on this lot is terrible. <laughs> I think it looks bad in like all times of the day. And I guess lastly, I'm just kind of thinking about some extra stuff that we can hide on these porches. I would love to put a rocking chair or something, but obviously we don't have that pack installed. Oh, I didn't paint this the right color. Could you imagine if I didn't notice and I put it on the gallery like that. That would have been bad. <laughs> oh, maybe I could use the bench from this pack. That's cute on the little porch. Maybe I'll do that and put an easel because that's always useful for gameplay to have more stuff to do. And I think that might be the whole house done. I really like the layout of this one. I think this is a very useful, realistic layout. I hope that it's not too expensive. 77, oh my God, I'm sorry. I really didn't mean for it to be this expensive. I wasn't trying to do that, it just happened. <laughs> I'll upload it now for you in case you want to download it and you'll have to let me know if you like backyard stuff now that you've got it to play with. There are quite a few things that I really love about this pack. The water slide is kind of the main thing obviously that's like the whole main feature but there's a couple little details like this bird feeder and some of these little lights I am obsessed with these wall lights as well that I use upstairs in the bedroom and I gotta be honest this flower rug is one of my favorite rugs in the whole game so there's a couple really big standouts not so much that it's worth paying a lot of money for but getting it on sale or in this case getting it for free is well worth it so make sure you go and grab it right now and I mean that listen to me when I tell you this go get your pack for free if you put it off you might forget and I don't want you to forget and there's also a huge sale just in general across a bunch of sims packs and just as a quick reminder a lot of sims creators have creator codes now so when you buy any sims packs at checkout you can put a username in the box and then that creator is going to get a five percent commission on your purchase and right now during the sale it's a seven percent commission so it isn't a discount for you but it does give money to the creator instead of to EA which is probably what you want my code is just Lil Simsy, but you don't have to use mine I would encourage you to use at least somebody's code if you're going to buy a sims pack. Anytime you buy a Sims pack, I encourage you to use somebody's. Most times it's just their username, but you can also ask your favorite creator if they have a code and what their code is. It's a good way to financially support your favorite creators without having to pay extra money because you're already going to buy the pack, so you may as well put the code in. But I will stop rambling, and on that note, I'm going to end this video right here. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'm going to catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. The scary call that I had in the middle of this, by the way, it was about life insurance. Life insurance. You understand why I was scared? Yeah. <laughs> it was kind of unpleasant.